This is a studio where we recorded our No Compromise album and where I sang the vocals for Most High, a song that chronicles my experience as a drug addict, which all started right here, in my folks' house. This is where I was raised. And as a kid, I remember at the age of 10, the very first time that I smoked a cigarette, which for me was really a gateway into drugs. I was right here, actually. A neighborhood friend, he convinced me that I would be cool, I would be like the adults if I just took a hit, took a drag off of this cigarette. And so I did, reluctantly. And <coughs> I coughed, I hacked, I couldn't stand it. I didn't like the taste, I didn't like the burning sensation. My body rejected it, but I pretended like I liked it because I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be cool. All the kids in the neighborhood were five to seven years older than me, and I wanted to be a part of their crew. I wanted to fit in. So I remember at the age of 10, on this step right here, when I drank my first beer, I hated the taste, but I pretended like I liked it because I just wanted to make friends. I went from cigarettes to beer, and then eventually hard alcohol. I remember right here was the first place I ever got drunk, so drunk that I vomited everywhere. Couldn't stand the way it made me feel and how I lost control. I puked everywhere, but I didn't stop. From then, I moved on to weed. They say bad company corrupts good morals, and they did. When I was 10 years old, my next door neighbor sold me a sack of weed. And this is the spot where I sat when I first used. I didn't think that things would get worse, but they did. Within a few years, I was growing weed right over there and then dealing. When I was a teenager, I worked right here in Torrance Beach, California at the Snack Shack. It's where I'd meet girls, I'd find out where the parties were happening, and I'd go to the parties and I'd use. I remember one time I came home from the beach, drunk. My dad smelled my breath. He knew that I had been drinking. Before I had a chance to get punished, I ran away from home. I was gone for months. I was always chasing my first high or trying to find something better. It was at this beach where I first used opium. I went from weed to nitrous to coke, crystal meth, even crack. When I ran away from home, I was living at friends' houses or wherever the party was. I spent a lot of my time staying in an abandoned house and when I couldn't find a roof over my head, I woke up here on the beach. The beach is nice, but it's no home. We used to steal just to feed ourselves or to feed our habit. I even got a job cleaning toilets at an elementary school just to make ends meet. And I remember one night when I woke up, passed out in a gutter lying in my own vomit, that I had hit rock bottom. It was time to come home. Though I may have given up on my parents, they never gave up on me. They received me. <laughs> they made me go to NA meetings, AA meetings, counselors, shrinks, psychiatrists, psychologists, listen to pastors. The 12-step programs, they didn't work for me until I made that final step, the step to God. When I used to use LSD, I would see visions of Jesus in my head and I would push him away saying, I want to have nothing to do with you. I'm so thankful that he never pushed me away and that he received me with open arms. I've been sober for 21 years now. And I gotta tell you, the world has things backwards. They call getting drunk with beer the high life, or using hard alcohol, or smoking marijuana, getting high. But you're really getting low. You're really more and more empty than you were before. If you wanna have eternal life, an abundant life, you only find it in Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.18 says, don't be drunk with wine, but be full of the Spirit. There is no high like the most high.